Hey everybody! Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> it's been a good one for me. Staying indoor, actually. It's raining all day today, which is cool. And then again, it's not so cool because it just makes weeds grow up through my rocks. My yard, so yeah. But you know what? We always need rain, especially when the hot summer's coming in Arizona. Because, and we got a lot of rain this year, so that's really a good thing for Arizona. So, anyway, this was that jar. It's just a little cute little thing I picked up. And I am going to put just a few little roses in it when it's done. Okay, so I figured, you know, just a few, you know, nothing big, because it's a small little vase. It'll look pretty, and I know it's hard to see right now, but I showed it to you in my last videos. And of course, we won't see it today, but we will tomorrow. It will be dry by tomorrow, for sure. And I am going to use... Which I forgot to get out was my silver. So, hold on just a second. Okay. Sorry, I'm always pausing. I'm never prepared. Okay, I'm using the Artist Loft Flow Silver, metallic silver. I'm going to use metallic purple Artist Loft. And I'm going to use Deep Red Artist Loft. And I'm going to use this metallic teal deco art. Beautiful color. Okay. So, yeah. A couple people in the, in the YouTube channel have mentioned these colors, and I think they're brilliant. And, you know, I'm just not real great about them out colors sometimes to pour in bases and stuff so here we go here's the colors I'll just set them here for a second and then I'll just talk to you for a few minutes um, my husband well of course I got chocolates like the last thing I need is chocolates right <sighs> okay and then because before I go to bed at night the chocolates are sitting there, and I'll lay in my bed with my little YouTube and checking out my phone and all that stuff. And I could devour so many chocolates. Okay, and this last thing I need, <laughs> but you know what? I really love them, so I will enjoy that tonight. I'm looking forward to it, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's funny. And then he got me an apron, a Martha Stewart apron, and it's real pretty. It's got, uh, like, little flowers on it, and, or not flowers, hearts, pink hearts, and then it's got a big red pocket. So, he says, I was going to have printed Sherry's Life on it, and I go, well, did you want me to use it for my painting, you know, or for cooking? He goes, for your painting, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 because... You like, you know, I wear my paint clothes and they get filthy. I mean, seriously, the last thing I want is that beautiful apron that, as a matter of fact, and I will tell you because it's like, are you kidding me? $30 for an apron? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh no, it's too pretty. And I go, you know, but that's the thing, too. It's too pretty if you're me even cooking because I'm going to splatter it all up, right? So, yeah. I'm going to use it for cooking for sure. There's no way. And then I'll be mad if I splatter on it or something for cooking. But I'm making buffalo wings tonight, chicken wings for dinner and some nice vegetables and stuff. But anyway, I'll use it then and... So I was real appreciative about that. That was really nice of them. And then I got cards from my kids. And then I got another box of the candy from my son. So I was like, oh, Lord, candy. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, yeah, like I told him, I says, you know, I can't use this for painting. I get paint 
and I mean this in my underwear, somehow, that when I am painting in here, because I don't just do small canvases to where it's all neat and tidy. You know, when you're using a 16 by 20 and I don't have a big enough table or a tray, I get it all over me. It is all over the floor, up my arms, everywhere. And then they soak through my pants, whatever, my painting pants I'm using. I've got underwear galore with paint on them. So I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm not painting with that beautiful apron. <laughs> All right, we'll get started. So hopefully everybody's having a good one. Now, you know, it's all about love and showing appreciation to people that we love. I when Valentine's Day is not just for my husband. I do it for my children too, you know, cuz they're my sweethearts too. So, uh anyway, my boys always get something too. So, this is a round plaque that I had for a long time. I actually did a blow flower on it and it was on these ceramic type ones okay you can't have them too thick because they're gonna flow it's not like a canvas same with the tile I'm gonna go real not real thick so it spread my flower didn't and I was real disappointed now the other one worked out but not this one okay so here we go so um I'm gonna layer them and it's such a small one so I don't need a whole lot And I will start with the metallic silver, just a little bit, because that's kind of going to be my contrast in a way. Then I will go with, well, I'm going to put the red in between, yeah, so the metallic teal then I will go the red not too much because that will overpower and I don't have them real runny I want them a little bit more on the thicker side well we'll see like I always say metallic purple a little bit more of that silver Uh, sometimes the light will just not draw out the pretty colors on glass. Just ahead of time warning there. Because the light shines on it so bright and it's so close. I put it very close. You know what? I just skipped bread. I messed up. <laughs> it's okay because we don't want that much red. Well, I do want red in it. Red. That's probably enough. I think so. Think that's enough? I do. Hmm. I'm not going to swirl it either or anything like that. Just, I mean, swirl the cup. I'm not going to swirl the cup. Oh, maybe I should. Here I am again. Just a tiny bit of a line going through. Hope I didn't put too much silver in. Selling up, whatever it is. You know what? I should have moistened the canvas first. And I will do that with some red. Because sometimes, and I cleaned it with alcohol too, by the way. Rubbing alcohol. If it's not, I just found just like with my light bulbs, moistening it first helps the flow. 
wipe my hands here. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully it's going to look pretty. We'll see right now, won't we? That's a pretty one. I love it the way it is because the red is showing up really nice too. Now it's just a matter of knowing if it's down there. So, yeah, maybe I better put a little more in there. Didn't quite get to that stem, but it is now. If it is, I can stop. Because I like it the way it is. It's showing all the colors, especially the red, too. That's the problem with these, is not knowing if you get a spot. But you know, if you don't, you can always touch that up afterwards with a little bit of paintbrush or whatever. So I'm happy with this. Check it out real good underneath again one more time. Always the beginning of your paint, too. Is the prettiest. This is pretty. I like the red in there. Perfect. The teal and the purple. You guys seeing that good? I think that's good. I think those roses will look pretty in there. Right on, guys. Great selection. And I looked up the names somebody else mentioned putting. I'm so rude sometimes when I can't remember names. I am so sorry. You guys mentioned these colors and... Whoopsie. So that's cool. Looking good. And if I just keep pouring, it's just going to ruin all that pretty red. It's always the beginning. All right, so that's it, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. And it looks like I got everything on the bottom. Oh, now the plaque underneath. I forgot all about that. So I'm going to take this off very carefully. And... Put it down here. And then we'll do the plaque. But I have to fix the camera. So I'm going to pause it. Okay. So that's not going to be enough paint. So. That's going to go around the edges. to help that middle part out. You know? Don't want to ruin what design came off of the jar. There. And I found my little torch thing I've had. Of course, full glitter and everything. Now this time I won't have to worry about it too thick because oh yeah, that middle was not wide enough so that's gonna might look funny. I'll stretch it though. <laughs> that did not turn out right. Let's stretch it out of there.
can't believe I'm so close. What am I doing so close? Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yeah, I really want that middle part to... Oh, that didn't work out too well. Kind of neat, though. I'm going to try to spread that middle. Make it all an even pretty color. Pretty. It's working. Not just this one part, see? right there and that is pretty this would be pretty to put a little red rose right in the middle oh no my video will take forever but I might just do that alright so yeah I mean it's pretty and all but I think it would be prettier with a little red rose right in the middle. Don't you agree? It's kind of plain. So I'll pause this drip off because I have to have it thin. And we'll do a little string pull real quick. So one more pause. So that really turned out pretty colors. I know that the cameras never do it justice. Yeah, I always say it that upsets me, but hopefully, and the light's always so shiny. Maybe we can get a good picture of it afterwards. Jeez, can't do it with the camera in the way. Looks pretty thick, too. A little too much on my string. Try to get that straight down where the hole is, where it's going to hang. All right. Hey, worked out. Right on. Not too bad. Bubbles. That's pretty. I like it. All right. Let's take a look at it. Oh, no. I smudged up this area. I'll tell you what, I'll lift up this plaque. So I've got little swirls of red throughout that, of course. But I think the red was a good choice. You guys let me know what you think. 
it stood out the best. I knew the other colors wouldn't stand out the best, and that is very pretty. All right, well, hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. Take care. Tell everybody you love them. Give them a big hug. And uh, let's do this all year round. Okay, let's try to make this a really loving, kind year. And mine's turning out wonderful. It really is. My year has been just awesome. I'm very happy in life. So, you know, that that's... I'll tell you what, I've gone through some rough times in my life. I really have. Um, I had, oh gosh, I could take forever now. Here I go. Here I go. But yeah, I've had some hurdles. I mean, we all do, you know. And um, a lot of people don't know that I've been clean and sober for about six years now. Um. Yeah, I started to just self-medicate with some alcohol over just because I was depressed, because of depression. And I'll tell you what, I look back at those days and just, oh, thank God every night that I've been delivered from that. Um, and I have been. I have no urges whatsoever. I wouldn't even think about having a drink because those I don't want to have a headache, first of all. I don't even want it. It kind of, it's just, it's sort of a deliverance. I really was. I was delivered from it. And what my point was is that, you know, I'm super happy now. And then when I started painting a year and a half ago, because I started doing all kinds of crafts and keeping myself super busy, you know. And redirecting my mindset to positive thinking instead of dwelling on things. Well, I don't know what that was, but we're going to push that back down because it looked like something. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's my point is to enjoy every moment you can. And if you are having problems with a substance or anything you know um, get some help get some counseling I went a year counseling someone that helped me to start setting boundaries with toxic people and and I even opened up my own positive vibes group I have 20,000 people in a positive vibes group if you guys want to join that would be awesome let me know we'll hook up on facebook and then i'll invite you in it's a closed group though our secret group um, because it's grew so fast and i can keep up with it i got moderators and all. oh i'm going on but you know what you got to stay positive you got to to appreciate what you have in life who you have to love who loves you and if you are not being respected or loved you know what man that's not good you got to feel good about yourself and how can you do that you know so uh, I just wanted to share a few of those things I'm not embarrassed to say that I had an alcohol problem you know but uh, we have all been there before and um, geez when I was young Oh, man, I tried just about everything there was. That's why I don't trust my teenager. He's some like, hey, man, I've been a teenager before. I know what it's like. I've done everything and everything. But, uh, you know, if you need someone to talk to ever, too, I'm here for you. You can talk to me. Man, I went through lots of stuff. And, um... You've got to keep your mind in the right place. There is no doubt about that. Your mindset's got to be positive. That's it. It's all mindset. So let's keep loving one another, respecting one another, and uh, we'll be good. So the vase is looking, the heart little thing is looking good. It's going to look pretty with the flowers. I just held the flower up next to it. It's really pretty. 
So, hey guys, I'll catch you later. Sorry I rambled on now. Here I did it again with a long video. But for some reason, I just felt like, you know, telling you I'm very happy. Uh, because my life has turned around remarkably. Yeah. So, God bless all of you, okay? Take care, and I'll catch you later. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. I love you all. There you go. I love you all. Bye-bye, guys.